Yeah, I felt weird talking to myself with the window open. Yeah, so the carpet cleaner guy came today. I don't know if you can tell, but um, this room is completely empty. This is actually my brother's old room, but uh, I came in here to uh, film this because I had to put my desk back downstairs because the carpet was still a little bit wet and my parents didn't want me to put my desk up on the wet carpet. Yeah, but I don't know where I'm going to sit and work on my game because uh, I can't put my desk up till all this carpet dries and the carpet's not drying and I need somewhere to sit. So a little update on the game. I have good uh, collision detection going on. Well, it's not good at all. I, I didn't mean to say good. It's it's going on. I do have some form of collision detection implemented, so I'm going to start working on my little guy having a gun. And I've sketched out some ideas for the layout and the uh, controller layout. Let me go grab that. Yeah, so when I drew this, uh, I think I had the iPad in mind, but um, yeah, now that I think about it, this might be hard to implement on a smaller screen such as the iPhone, but I might make it for iPad. Uh, you'll probably see by this drawing that I'm an amazing artist. I took 12 years at the Art Institute uh, with a major in drawing, so yeah. Um, if you don't think it's good, it's because it's abstract. It's actually really, really amazing in the art community. If you don't, if you don't think it's good, it's because you don't get it and you're an inferior artist. So as you can see, here's me or you or the player. This would be like a joystick style, uh, a joystick style controller for one, or virtual joystick for one thumb. Then the other thumb would have your, like, let's walk this way, walk this way or shoot your gun type controllers. And then I I enjoy games where, maybe just because I'm so, everything's quantitative to me, but you can actually have the health bar displayed above a person. So like, I might have a health bar displayed right here, and then as I get shot, it gets smaller and smaller. And until it disappeared, and then I would die. And then these really well drawn little Power-up things are maybe like ammo or a grenade or just random power-ups that would assist you in the game. So we have, oh, and then these are obviously sandbags, um, just some form of barrier between you and the zombies, kind of like you set up this little barrier and you're standing behind it shooting things. And then as they approached, your barrier might have like a health bar of its own and the zombies would deteriorate it and once that got down, they would devour your brains and you would therefore lose the game. So that's kind of what I'm working towards right now. I'm sure that design will change over the course of uh, programming it all out, but that's what I got. So in the actual code so far, I have the little guy walking around. Um, I'm going to put the zombies, well, I have the zombie drawn out. I'm going to, um, I need to work on implementing them so he comes down from the top of the screen at random intervals. And I want him to walk down and then start walking towards you. So it's not just a one dimension fall. It's a two dimensional, like he'll walk towards you type thing. Yeah. So one of the big things I'm kind of fearing at this point is all the, all the artwork that'll go into a game like this, all the different drawings and um, sketches type stuff. So yeah, as you can see, I was joking about being a really good artist. I'm not at all, especially when it comes to dig digital art. Uh, so, yep. But I kind of want it to look good, and we'll see how that develops. If I spend enough time on it, I might be able to get something that looks somewhat like a person in a zombie. Right now, I just have stick figures. But that's about all I had to say on that. But yeah, anyways, in my real life, I had a stats test today. I did work on that. We also spent the first the first half of my day, so how my day goes on B days and it go, my week goes A to A day, B day, A day, B day, etc. because we're on the block schedule. My So on every B day, which was today, the first half of my day, we I have an aerospace engineering class and all we did all day today was play fight, flight simulator and it was awesome. And that was super fun and we learned how to fly. Yesterday I didn't have a whole ton of time to work on anything important because I had 
robotics, which is important. I didn't mean to say that that was not important, but that took up a large majority of my night and I was super tired. So I went to bed kind of early and woke up kind of late. So I didn't work on a ton since then, but I have all night tonight and I'll well, accept survivors on. <laughs> that's one of my, that's one of my things I'm allowing to waste my time repetitively is survivor because that's pretty important. Yeah. So I was talking about how I need to be working on my college applications um, during this time because I am a senior in the high school, but I've kind of managed to take that all that time and work on it at school or I couldn't be working on other things because I have this one class where basically I was the only person who signed up for advanced web design or the advanced 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 web design class. I don't know how to put that, but basically everybody else sucks with computers. So they wanted me to work on the school website and I, so I signed up as, so this class I'm in is called sports entertainment marketing, but I don't do any of that curriculum. Any just gives me arbitrary grades, normally like 98s and 99s on all the tests and homework. And I pretty much sit there and, um, work on different web design stuff. Like I made some, made some, uh, dynamically generated tables for the basketball team so that they can just enter the stats into a database and then it sorts themselves. I made a really simple content management system for my teacher so that he can upload it to his own website if he wants to. But anyway, so the main point of this is when I have downtime in that class, if nobody has a project for me, I've been um, hacking away at all my college applications. So just uh, mainly writing essays is the big one that takes time revising the essays and kind of just making sure everything looks as good as it can. That's all I really had to say today. It's, oh, I should put this at the beginning, but I didn't. It is October 19th of 2011. It is a Wednesday, which means today's question is about, I really should have thought of a question before I did that. That was a bad idea. <laughs> Today's question is about, mostly for you people who are programmers, just do you listen to music while programming, or if you're ever, for you gamers too, if you're playing by yourself, I if I was playing by myself, I used to listen to music a lot, I still do, um, but now I've gotten more into the habit of playing with friends, so I talk to them rather than listen to music, but yeah, and if so, what do you listen to? What's your favorite song, genre, artist, album, playlist, country? Who's your favorite? F who's your favorite physicist? Who's your favorite author? All these things could apply to this question, except two of them. So leave that down there. If you want to subscribe, this is the only type of video, these vlogs that are going to be coming out for a while, I think. And that is all I had to say. So keep on keeping on. That's not the phrase that goes with that hand gesture, but I don't care. <laughs>